Sean Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for DC Mech number one, the highly anticipated miniseries DC Mech, where our Justice League uses mechs. Uh, it's finally here. Uh, I'm very excited. I read this a little while ago, and I just could not stop raving about it to myself. Uh, but now I get to talk to you guys all about it. Uh, so this is a really fun story. So let's take a let's let's uh, talk about the creative team first. Uh, this is written by Kenny Porter, with art by Valdemar Rivas, colors by Mike Spicer, and letters by Tom Napolitano. Uh, and a brief synopsis, if you're not aware, let me go over that while I give you some preview art. At the end of World War II, Earth was invaded by giant mechanized parademons from a planet called Apocalypse. The planet's protectors, the Justice Society of America, were devastated, and with them, the age of superheroes came to an end, and the era of mech began. In the ensuing years, the world has stockpiled colossal battle suits piloted by elite warriors waiting for the day Apocalypse returns, but when Kal-El, the last son of a dying world, crash lands in Metropolis with his own war suit, he'll face down two of Earth's greatest mech fighters, the Flash and Batman. The dawn of a brave new mechanized DCU is here. Uh, so, yeah, let's talk about it. So, as you can see here, this is the flashback to um, simpler times, August 1945, uh, where the Justice Society had just, you know, they were celebrating a peace, I guess, among the Earth. And then here come the Parademons. I love uh, Revis's art. It is so cool, like so different from anything that you could imagine. The design of these uh, these parademon mechs, like really cool stuff, just very very much so. I love the lettering here, as we have this huge sound, and I think for the series like this, what you want is some like big spectacle, big loud bang noises, uh, you know. And what better way to give you that in a comic than by uh, highlighting that with these these amazing letters? Uh, also, the narration kind of really brings you up to speed and really allows you to do everything that happened. I love that in this page, um, all the heroes at the bottom are kind of cast in a shadow where we know that every all the action is really going on on top. Uh, so let's take a few more pages here. We, we get to see a lot of these. And, and as I mentioned in the synopsis, it is not going to go very well for the Justice Society. And that is just the beginning of our story. Uh, so, yeah, I had... A ton of fun with this one. This is going to be a six issue mini series, and I can't wait to see where this goes. Uh, this actually leaves in a really cool. Uh, the last page for this just kind of really blew my mind. Uh, the covers are amazing because I love mechs. I love seeing them. Like I just love the design, and you'll see some at the end of the video. Uh, so, if you like mechs, any kind of mech anime or something like that, like I think you'll definitely enjoy this. Also, this is just a fresh new story uh, from the DCU. Like, so if you're a new reader and you're not very familiar with anything that's going on in continuity, this has not continuity. This is brand new stuff. Now, does it borrow a little bit from like maybe some of the high overarching topics? Sure, but but that's just really the aspect of like, oh yeah, the concept of the Justice Society or the concept of a Justice League. Uh, so yeah, very much so. Very fun, this series. I really, really enjoy it and I can't wait. Uh, to hear more people talk about it because I'm very excited that uh, its debut is finally here. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm going to show you some really cool variants at the end of the video. Uh, in the meanwhile, thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Sundays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned because we have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Bye-bye.